Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of One Hub. The virtual machine would be Happy Corp. One. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. So now I'd like to go into the Kali Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 164 by the two net discover. Then I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan. I also did the comprehensive scan by the option of a dash p dash. And uh, so from the map scanning results, as you can see, there are several open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface. And also the actual the virtual information is displayed over here. And then the 80 port, which is running HTTP surface, and also the actual uh, virtual, virtual, sorry, the actual virtual information, which is Apache 2. And then next one is 111, and uh, this is some sort of the RPC bind service. And let's scroll down a bit. And also the there's some open ports, which is used for the NFS. I think you know the NFS, right? Network File Sharing Service. So, of course, as we know, the SSH service, this version, doesn't have any vulnerability. And as I said in the other videos, if the virtual machine has some service like FTP, like uh, a Samba surface and also like uh, NFS, NFS surface is running. The usually the first step I'd like to do is to do some emulation for the such surface. So, because in this case, uh, this surface is NFS, so we can use the show mount to see whether there is shear by this virtual machine. And we put the IP address of the target. I think uh, yeah, my keyboard, my mouse is not working properly. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the virtual machine has one shear. The limb is cow. And we can create the directory for the for mounting later okay and then we can use the mount and the type is nfs and the ip address home call and then the local the local directory or folder to be mounted on share oh sorry I the IP address is incorrect. Okay, now we can go to the share. And uh, there is a very one interesting directory, which is SSH. We can go to this SSH directory, but permission denied. And as you can see, the ownership belongs to the one 1001 user so maybe we can create the the user 1001 and then uh, and we need to switch to this user and i think i'm certain we can enter into this directory okay so i can use the sudo and the user add 1001 and we can set the password for this user, the password could be one, two, 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the user one zero zero one has been created successfully. So now we go back to our shell, and then we can switch our shell to the one zero zero one, and the password is one two three four five, and then we can go to the home directory, Kelly, and the desktop, and Van Hub, and Happy Hub, and share. Oh no, we can go to maybe I can make a copy. Connie, and then okay. Cannot CD home Kelly So what's the matter? ID and then yeah I'm sure we can go into this directory. Yeah, we have already inside this directory. Sorry about that. And we can go to this directory. What's the matter? We can I cannot go into this directory. Yeah, now no problem, and we can get the user flag here. Okay, this is the user flag or the first flag, and then here we got the private key. We can cut the this key, right? And we can make a copy of this key, this private key, and maybe we can go to another tab. Create the the key. Right and quit. And of of course, we need to change the privilege for this file or private key. And of course, now have we have to know the user name, which is Carl. Then maybe we can now we can exit, exit, and also we can. Amount, amount, amount of this year. Okay, sorry, I need to uh, sudo. Okay, no problem. Now we can log in by private key. The username is Carl. Okay, but we need to supply the passphrase for this private key, so we can use the SSH two jump and ID ISA hash, and then we can use the John the Reaper. ISA. Okay, we have already cracked the password or passphrase for this private key. Then we can log in to the virtual machine again. Now we can enter the passphrase. But uh, it, uh, I think now we are 
in although we have already logged in successfully via SSH, but uh, now we are in the restrict bash. We need to escape. I even I cannot quit uh, this terminal. It's okay, and uh, I think we can. PS AUX, we can kill this process. Okay, and then we can. But this time we use the T option to try to escape the restrict shell. Ship. Okay, now we have already become the normal shell. We can navigate to different directory and uh, the next thing or next objective for us is to elevate our privilege and first we can check whether this user has sudo but not found then we can use the find command to find whether we can locate commands which has SUID bit redirect error yeah as you can see uh, the CP command the copy command has SUID bit so we can generate our own password file and uh, overwrite the original uh, password file and then by this way we can elevate our privilege let me show you how to do it. Yeah, we can make a copy of this file and uh, copy to here. And uh, now we need to generate or append a new line. And this time, the loot we can change to another user name which is JSON, but we need to create the password or encrypted password. We can use the open SSL password and uh, the type is six or SSH five, I think uh, 252, I think, or maybe 500 and 12 anyway and then we can specify the sort like a json or anything you wish you wish okay and the password is one two three four five six okay and now we have already generated the encrypted password we can make a copy and replace the x so now we have already created the our own or new password file we can save into our working directory uh, working directory where is my working directory happy cop and the name is password file the file name should be the same as the original one okay now we need to upload this file onto the virtual machine and this will be very easy we can use the python http server to set up a web server right and now we go back to our terminal where is the terminal and we can go to the temp directory we use the wget so what about my IP address? Okay, I got that. Password. Okay, no problem. We have already uploaded the password file. Then we need to use the bin copy file. And uh, this is the password file. This is our created file and overwrite, overwrite the original one. Okay, no problem. We can cut 
the file. As you can see, the last line, we insert it. We have successfully inserted the, this line. And now we can switch user to JSON. And this user has root privilege. And the password is what we have already supplied. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no problem. As you can see, we have a lot. We have become the root user. We, we can go to the root directory, and we can get the root flag flag here. Okay, so that's all. I'd like to go through uh, for this virtual machine. Even we didn't, we don't need to go through the the HTTP service or AT port of the virtual machine. So that's it. Hope to see you in the next one.